We're gonna make a really gorgeous almond cake now. It's all plant-based because it's gonna complement the most refreshing strawberry and almond sorbet made with plenish almond. So I've put plant-based butter in a bowl and I've mixed it really well with some sugar. I've added some apple sauce along with some almond butter. Once I've mixed this up really nicely, in my bowl I've popped some plain flour with some baking powder. So stir that up. You need to whip up some aquafaba. I've done that already. I've whipped the aquafaba with a bit of cream of tartar and a little bit of sugar to stabilize it. And then we'll be adding the flour into our plant-based butter mix and then folding this through. When the batter looks nice and smooth, you can pour it into a cake tin and bake it. So get that baked. And in the meantime, we're gonna work on that lovely strawberry and almond milk sorbet. The sorbet contains only a few simple ingredients and I feel like it mimics the plenish almond because it's so natural. All you need to do to make it is warm up the almond milk in a pan, add a sprinkling of sea salt, some sugar, and then finally, a really nice amount of golden syrup. Warm it gently until it looks like it's steaming. Once the almond milk has completely cooled down, get your strawberries into a blender and then all you need to do is pour this on top and blend it. And that's it. Now the key to this sorbet is we actually don't need an ice cream machine. All you're gonna do is set it in the freezer and then take it out, cut it up into chunks and then blend it. And what will happen is that process will make it creamy and look beautiful and honestly it tastes delicious. Then it's ready to go. You can spoon it and serve it with that almond cake or just eat it on its own. Mm -hmm.